Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time, Pooh joined the group, Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh, and we welcomed him to the group by initiating him into the the rhythm. We initiated him by having all of us wade through the four side sewers neck deep in the waste of the people of Foreside. And this time we're going to be trudging through the waste and having a lot of fun. This is in fact the easiest way to get through these sewers because there aren't as many enemies in the water as there are on the pathway. Who'd have thought that mon even monsters don't want to go into the waste of the people? Okay, uh, the deadly mouse can poison you, just kill it with fire, or actually kill it with ice, rather, because it's a better way of killing, it's cleaner. You don't, ha you don't pollute the environment, because <laughs> green is what the world is about nowadays. PSI freeze, or sorry, freezeab. Freezeab is the best move. Okay, let's just kill this thing, and while this happens, I would like to talk about something, although I'm probably going to be interrupted by, interrupted by a level up. No, okay. You guys remember the Mario Kart 8, 8 video I did, like a week or two back? It's more like two weeks or three now. Uh, but I played with Steven George and Mallory George from Steven Place, and I watched their vlog where they talked about that video. And I found out something really cool that gives a lot of perspective as to my experience with the, in that video, in that tournament. The, in that group of people, there were 588 racers. That's a lot of people. And uh, although Stephen George didn't mean to switch up the racers like every game, he ended up kind of doing that. Because some people quit, some people, uh, they lost connection a couple of times. But what ended up happening is they got reconnected and they got matched with a, bump, a bunch of people. That being said, he, they only got to play with 40, about 40 of those 588 people. And I did the math, and that meant that in that video, I had a 6% chance of actually encountering them, and I did. So the fact that I encountered them once is something is something to be proud of. Not many, not everyone got to do that. So. I got a 6 in 100 chance of encountering them, and I did, which is pretty neat. Okay, uh, like what is this, 3, 4 minutes into the video and I'm already at the Your Sanctuary Location boss, that is awesome. This is the 5th Your Sanctuary Location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Plague Doom of Rat appeared. Just like all bosses, you want to hit it with your hardest attacks, or I want to, because why would my interest be different from yours? So let's use my strongest attacks and kill it. Pooh is pretty weak, so we want to keep him alive uh, by any means necessary, because if he doesn't get this experience, he's going to be lagging behind for a long while. So Pooh, you attack. Freeze Gamma will do a lot of damage. We probably won't kill him this turn since he is one of the more difficult bosses. Although, one cool thing about Freeze, which I love, I really love it because it does a lot of damage, but it also can prevent enemies from moving during their turns. And because I have access to two uh, PSI Freezes in one turn now, uh, there's a double chance that they will be frozen in their turn. So he has not been able to attack yet, and I hope that that streak will continue. Let's just use more, um, use more bottle rockets and more freezes and hope that he will not attack anyone, because it is entirely possible that he will insta-kill Pooh. If he does... Oh, looks like he did? No, he attacked Ness for whatever reason. That totally would have killed Pooh. Just like all rats, he does have a high chance of, of hitting with a smash attack, and he chose to use his one and only attack on the tank of the group. Ness and his friends gain 28,000 experience each. Ness's level is now 42, the secret of life. Offense went up by 1, defense went up by 1, HP went up by 3, PP went up by 2. P 
Paul's level is now 37. HP went by 3. Paul realized the power of PSI Fire Gamma. Ness's level, or Jeff's level, wow, he got a level up too, is now 37. Offense went up by 1. Speed went up by 1. HP went up by 1. Pooh's level is now 25. Offense went up by 1. Defense went up by 1. HP went up by 2. PP went up by 1. Pooh's level is now 26. Offense went up by 2. Defense went up by 1. HP went up by 1. Pooh's level is now 27. Offense went up by 2. Oh, baby! Defense went up by 3. Defen uh, speed went up by 2. Vitality went up by 1. HP went up by 12. Pooh realized the power of PSI Magnet Omega. Good level ups all around. That's awesome. Well, like 5 minutes into the episode, we're already at the 6th? 5th, sorry. The 5th, your sanctuary location. Any status ailments that we had before will be cleansed, we'll be back to full health, and we'll get a new melody. Ness saw a baby's bottle, but just for an instant. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of Magnet Hill. This area was in Foresight the entire time. The four Sidians built a wall around this area to hide its beauty from from others. But, fortunately, by going through the sewers, we were able to discover it. Next to the magnet itself is a chest that contains, whoa, a carrot key. This is a pretty good int. I have to hand it to the designers uh, that they placed a, such a cool hint in here. Not only is that a chest that we've seen in Delam, and pretty much Delam only, or at least uh, more so than we've seen it anywhere else, but we there's a carrot key in there. Where is the only place in the game that we have ever seen rabbits? That was also in Delam, last episode where we were control. Was it last episode? Yeah, it was. It was last episode, I think. I think yeah, it was. Definitely was. No, it wasn't. It was the episode before last. Uh, we saw some rabbits that were guarding a cave in Delam. So this is like a double hint. Carrot key. A special type of bunny's favorite carrot. And by going back to Delam, now that we have teleport and we have poo, we can knock out that Your Sanctuary location as well, which is pretty neat. Like I said, the game is speeding along. It's not... It isn't as, uh... As... What am I trying to think? What word am I thinking of? Fa paced out? It's not measured as it was. It isn't, we go to town, we get sanctuary location. We go to other town, we get location. It's more like, this is earthbound. You cannot fit us in a box because we are too rad for that. Nest dug around in the trash can. Well, let's see here. There's a bazooka, a broken bazooka inside. Paula takes it. Okay, a uh, broken bazooka is the one item I really wanted to get in this area because it's an item that Jeff can have because it's... Oh, I almost dropped it. Oh boy, that would have been horrible. I, didn't, I don't, actually don't think I'm allowed to drop it, but still, if I did, that'd be horrible. Gave the item to, to Jeff. Once Jeff's IQ reaches 45, he will repair the broken bazooka and it will become the heavy bazooka, which is an item he can use infinitely to deal splash damage. It's basically a super bomb that has infinite uses. So it deals a lot of damage to target enemy, plus it does splash damage to the surrounding enemies. This will replace his bash tax for like the entire game once he fixes it. It's arguably the best item that Jeff, uh, yeah, Jeff, can have because it has unlimited uses. There are better bottle rockets than the big bottle rockets. There's uh, the multi bottle rocket, but still, they're one time use. This is infinite. Okay, let's just go over here, cycle these enemies off screen. Man, I love Earthbound because of that. And I made the mistake, I've made this mistake so many times in the past, thinking that that's an enemy and I avoid it. But it's not an enemy, it is a legitimate trash can, which contains a Rust Promoter DX inside, which, you know, I might just save that. I might give that to Escargo Express and save that for later. I might actually do that. Okay, now the only way we can progress is to go way back here. Mouse, just go away. Thank you. <laughs> he was like, bro, I have rights. This is my bubble, don't enter it. And I'm like, you know what? You can just have your bubble. I'll walk away. And he's like, okay, bye. Okay, let's just let's just go up here. Man, this is slow. Very slow. I kinda wish there was a PSI move that would make me faster. It's 
per like a, a permanent s skip sandwich, or I could get some Air Jordan shoes to run. Okay, those are enemies. I don't want to fight them. S bad thing about oopsie, oopsie. I was gonna say bad thing about the trash cans is that they have a bigger, um, a bigger hitbox, I guess. So you can't scoop by them. You have to make them despawn. And this is pretty bad because of this. Uh, let's just use my po most powerful attacks. Use PSI Freeze. I want to get rid of the Stinky Ghost first because it can possess me. And let's have Jeff use this. And Pooh, you use this on him. PSI Freeze, Gamma! Yeah! It defeated him! Freeze, Beta! Yeah, it defeated him! PSI Rockin', Beta! Might defeat him, I don't know. Yes, it did. And the Hungry HP Sucker. N didn't defeat them. Now I can just use... Actually, no, no, no. Actually, wait. One cool thing about this is we're coming up to an area where we can get infinite PP. I mean, we can heal up infinitely. So it's just a free rest, a rest spot. So don't feel bad about spamming stuff. It's perfectly fine. Um, goods. HP Sucker and goods. Use that, why not? Freeze, Gamma, connects, will probably instant kill him. It does. Uh, Jeff used the HP Sucker, probably won't kill him, but will keep myself healthy. And Thunder Beta will probably not connect. No, it did not. And Ness attacked. Wonderful. Everyone's missing. Good. Paul attacks, does damage. Mouse Beta, escape, scoop, a doop. And finally, the battle's done, I, and I will probably get a level up. Paul's level's now 38. Offense 1 by 1, speed 1 by 1, guts 1 by 1, HP 1 by 1, PP 1 by 1. Pooh's level's now 28 as well, or not as well. Oh baby, offense 1 by 5. Oh baby, defense 1 by 3, speed 1 by 1, guts 1 by 1, vitality 1 by 1, IQ 1 by 1, luck 1 by 1, HP 1 by 15, PP 1 by 4. Good level up for Pooh. Man, I'm actually glad that I fought that. Okay, let's keep going, because I believe there's one more treasure in here. And if I can get these enemies to despawn, we can find out what that treasure is. <sighs> Stupid enemies, just go away. Go away, please, sir. Leave me. Thank you. I mean, I get why enemies are still here, because if you want to farm, it's a great place to farm. But also, it's kind of annoying that they block the pathway. Broken spray can side, I'll probably get rid of that at the soonest opportunity. Because it's kind of useless. Oh, boy. Oh, actually, I can scoop by them. My intel was completely wrong. And by intel, I mean my own experience was completely wrong. And through the left of the entrance is an area that I'm curious about because I do not remember it. Oh, wow, there's a trash can here which contains a croissant. Eh, not bad, but eh, it's a free item, I guess. Okay, there's one more place that I need to go. Stupid mouse, just go away. Go away, please, sir. Not interested in mice. That's not my thing. I've never had a mouse before. I've only seen a mouse a couple of times in my house, and it was dying. Let's just leave the mice alone. There is a broken iron inside, and that will be the shield killer, I think. So, a bunch of broken items, which makes sense for the sewers, but otherwise, wow, that's a lot of smelly ghosts. An awful lot of them. Okay, let's leave them alone. Alright, let's talk to that guy. Let's see what he has to say before we move on to the other area. Please come back again to study, because I don't like being alone. Aw. Da 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 And we get a picture right here Because we now have Pooh and we are going To his home in Dalam to get A new melody on the sound stone Okay, now let's go ahead and go to the Dalam, but I'm going to save first, but you knew that already, so I'm going to take care of a couple things, and then we will leave for Dalam. Oh, that rude comment was a slip of the tongue. Now I feel like Montoli should eat my shorts. Ness, sir. Yeah, you should be repentant now that I am the man. 
You should never try to keep the man down. Because otherwise, the man will keep you down. Oh, boy! You know what? You know what? You know what? Well, I'm back, by the way. I just wanted to save and change the text box color. And now that I have, let's travel to Delam. And let's escape from this enemy very, very slightly. Slyly? Slightly? I don't know. By using Teleport Alpha to go to Delam. Oh yeah, we escaped the enemy and ran at the speed of light. Here is Delam. Now if we go inside, we will first get a camera guy again. But also, we can talk to uh, Pu Sensei to get healed up to max. So I will do that in just one moment. Say Fuzzy Pickles. And you'll leave. Ba -da -ba. Goodbye. Okay, now back to what I was doing. Let's go in here. I don't want to waste too much time because I want to get the second, the sixth your sanctuary location this episode. It's not too hard to do, so I just want to talk to this guy, heal up, get another... Wow, camera guy. Seriously, dude. You are... You just got, like, a new camera or something? You got the Nikon or whatever? Pick... Pictures taken instantaneously and photographic genius. If I do say so myself, okay... Like I said, he does auctions on Thursday evenings, where he auctions off the souls of children. Little known fact. Your future battle will be considerably more dangerous than you expect. Do not be careless. Yay, we're all on the throne, which is awkward. Let's go on to the place. And hopefully you didn't hear my phone ringing in the background. Phone, stop, shut up. Let's go out here and go use the carrot key. I have no business to take care of in Delam at the moment. If I do, then it will be taken care of next episode, because right now I just want to do, I want to do. And I can do down here? Where, there it is. There are the bunnies, and we can use the carrot key. Goods, carrot key. Use on the bunnies, how strange. The rabbits and carrots disappeared all at once. So we got rid of the creepy bunnies, and now I can move my magic truffle up to the top of my inventory, and then we can go inside. Now, tips for this area. Before you go inside, make sure you have your Franklin badge, because most of the enemies in here have thunder attacks. Now, I will be taking the the route that I think is the uh, the best, obviously, because if I didn't think it was the best, I wouldn't take it. You can farm in here, it isn't that hard. Uh, I would just take advantage of the fact that you have a free healing spot and just wail on these enemies and kill them very quickly. If you do not, then that means that you're going to die. Let's use my uh, PSI on the freak dude and kill him. This should kill him pretty quickly. Now, like I said, wow, that insta-killed him? Goodness, okay, that was easy. And we get a lot of experience from it, from just one enemy. That should be able to go into a chain of execution! Or not? Ness's level is now 43. Offense went up by 2. Maximum HP went by 1. PP went up by 1. Jeff's level is now 38. Offense went up by 1. HP went up by 2. Pooh's level is now 29. Defense went up by 1. HP went up by 3. PP went up by 2. So, three mediocre level ups. That should be able to carry us, carry us into the green once again. Uh, I just want to fight every enemy I see because I want to get my levels close to... Uh, close or equal to 45 on Ness. Let's have him use a rock and beta. These enemies are extremely easy to defeat. Just use some use some psychic attacks on them and use Jeff's hungry HP sucker and they're very easy. They're squishy. They don't do much. I mean, there are enemies like the, the Tengu on the right that can put you to sleep. But look at this. Two attacks and they're both, well, they're close to being dead. This should probably finish him off and... It does not. But this will. Like, look how easy this is. They have not de dealt any damage to me, and they give a fair amount of experience. Plus, the battle backgrounds are rather pretty. Alright. This area, like, like, the, uh, like the sewers, is extremely easy. Just as long as you know where you're going, all will be good. Uh, open the open the present sudden guts pill, which I'll probably sell later. That tunnel will bring me back down to the start. This tunnel will bring me to uh, one of the equipable items for Pooh, but I'm not going to get that right now. I just want to skip right to the end. 
Two Tangus. Uh, you know, Ness is probably never going to get to attack here. So let's just show off PSI Fire Beta. Or not Beta, sorry. A gamma. And just kill them both instantly. And let's do the, the comedy duo of double AoE attacks. Fire Gamma. Might need to kill them both. It does not. But this should clean up. Hungry HP Sucker does the stuff. Does not kill them, though. Okay, they're both asleep, but that's fine. They're both almost dead. They're also very creepy. They look like umbilical cords or... I, I, I don't know. Like... Um... What would I... What would you call those? Not umbilical cords or... S not spines. Nerve... I don't know. They look like umbilical cords. That's that's the closest thing I can think of. Uh, Pooh's now level 30. Offense 1 by 2. Defense 1 by 1. HP 1 by 3. This this hole right here at the end will bring us right next to the end of the area. Rock candy inside. Now this is an interesting item because it has an exploit just like the magic truffle. The rock candy is an item that will increase one stat at random and then it will be gone. However, if you use it in battle while it is on the end of your or on the top of your inventory with sugar packets, just like the magic truffle, it can be used infinitely. So you can you can um you can level up your stats forever. Just be warned that if any stat other than HP would reach 255, if it gets one more additional stat, it will set reset back to zero, I believe. So that's something to be warned about. Okay, uh, these enemies, let's just use Thunder Beta and this and this. This should kill everything. They have a lot of thunder attacks as well, which I'm hoping that we will not see, because they are horrible. Okay, both things hit, and wow, all four uh, thunders hit, and this might even finish them off. It didn't finish anyone, anyone off, that's bad. Felt pain from poison, and this should clean them all up. They dealt like 50 damage, but that's it. And they're all dead. No, they're not, wow, okay. Connecting Menace tried Thunder Beta. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, let's just use Bash Attacks to finish this thing off. That was actually a bad idea, but it wasn't that bad. This will be actually probably a couple level ups. 9,000 experience. Paul's level is now 39. Offense 1 by 1. Defense 1 by 1. HP 1 by 2. PV 1 by 1. Pooh's level is now 31. Offense 1 by 1. Defense 1 by 2. Speed 1 by 2. Guts 1 by 1. Luck 1 by 1. HP 1 by 1. Good. Okay, now, the last hole in the area. Actually, no, never mind. Sorry, I forgot that we went through that. Uh, let's use healing beta on Ness and heal everyone back up to max. And we should be able to knock this your sanctuary location boss out fairly easily. Alright, uh, this sanctuary location boss is very difficult. It has strong attacks that uh, you do not want to encounter. You finally got here. This is the sixth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. This is Thunder and Storm. They have an attack that I'm hoping that I will not see. They have a PSI flash attack that is much better than my own. It's entirely possible that th that it will insta-kill some of the mem members of my group. So I want to hit it hard and fast and pray, uh, literally uh, pray, that it doesn't kill me. That doesn't kill the people that I need. Because if it does, then uh, it's kind of bad. Okay, uh, let's use the higher end level attacks. Now the good thing is that Ness at least has the Knight Pendant, so he's protected from flash attacks, so he can heal people up. But also the problem is, is that the rest of my party does not have protection from flash, so they may be insta-killed. And I also don't have any big bottle rockets, I didn't bother to pick them up, because I'm fairly confident that my attacks here are enough to in fact kill it. Like, look how much damage I'm dealing right now. Okay, uh, Rock and Beta again. Paula, you use this on them. Jeff, use that again. And Pooh, you use that. I can only pray that Pooh does not get killed, because if he does, then he doesn't get the experience here, which is something he desperately needs. He's, uh, he's very underleveled. Oh, they're taking deep, deep breaths. 
Hopefully that doesn't mean anything, though I think it's just a stall tactic that they use. They're solidified, so they won't be able to act next turn. I'm just wailing on them. They have a lot of ex a lot of HP, but they're not doing any of their attacks, so that's good. Okay, uh, Jeff. This, this, and Pooh. This, this. I'm running out of PP, though it should last me until the end of the battle. It's pretty cool. We've reached... Wow, that's it. We have reached two Your Sanctuary location bosses this episode. We've gone from having four location bosses, or locations, to six. Ness's level's now 44. Oh, baby! Offense went up by three. Oh, baby! Defense went up by three. Speed went up by one. Guts went up by one. Vitality went up by two. Luck went up by two. Sweet! HP went up by 23. Paul's level's now 40. Oh, baby! Offense went up by five. Oh, baby! Speed went up by three. Oh, baby! Guts went up by three. Vitality went up by one. IQ went up by two. Oh, baby! Wow! This is a good level up. Luck went up by three. HP went up by nine. That rocks! Eight PP went up by eight. Paul realized the power of offense up Omega. Jeff's level's now 39. Defense went up by 1. Speed went by 1. HP went by 2. Pooh's level's now 32. Oh, baby. Offense went up by 4. Oh, baby. Defense went up by 5. Speed went by 1. Vitality went by 2. IQ went by 2. Sweet! HP went by 23. That rocks. PP went up by 8. Pooh's level's now 33. Offense went up by 1. HP went by 3. PP went up by 1. Pooh realized the power of PSI Freeze Gamma. Fantastic level ups and an excellent way to finish out an episode with a Your Sanctuary location. Ness had a short vision of seeing his mother when she was young. Nessa's soundstone recorded the melody of the pink cloud. So, six sanctuary locations down, and two to go. That's right, two. The game's wrapping up, actually. Not too many episodes ago, I said it was halfway done, but with the speed at which we've been doing things, we're going to be knocking it out fairly quickly. Let's fight this guy. Now, before I end off the episode, and I, I believe it will run a tiny bit long, there is one thing I would like to get, and it is right here. This present, which I'll have to fight enemies to get, no I won't, contains the Bracer of Kings. This is one of the only equipable items that Pooh can get. Let's go ahead and give it to him. Uh, who, who got it? Paula got it. Let's give that to Pooh. Bracer of Kings to Pooh. And let's have Pooh equip it. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Uh, arms Bracer of Kings will raise his defense by 90. Uh, no, sorry, not 90, uh, by 30. But that's still a sizable increase. It also grants an immunity to hypnosis, which is pretty cool. That's that's really actually pretty cool. Um, now, just as just to clarify for the hardcore Earthbound players, I do plan on getting all of. Pooh's equipable items, including the Sword of Kings, which is one of the hardest items to uh, to find in the game, because it only can be collected at one specific area, and it's one of the 1 in 128 items, so it's an extremely rare chance that I will get it, but I do want to get it just for 100% sake. I've never gotten it before, which is kind of surprising, but I have never gotten it, so I, I want to get it in this playthrough. This playthrough really is an excuse for me to do everything that I have never done before. I wanted to play through Earthbound again, but I never found the time. But I made the time by let's playing it here. Like I said, the episode's probably going to be a little bit long. I just want to farm a little bit more and get out of this place. Rock and Beta will connect and do the damage. Did not work on the Kiss of Death. Let's just finish it off with Bash Attacks. Uh, I feel free. I feel very free to use all of my PP here because... I mean, I can just restore it back at the the palace, so I think that's good. Je uh, Ness's level is now 45, and he hit the benchmark that I set for him. Offense went up by 1, IQ went up by 1, HP went up by 1, PP went up by 2. Awesome. Whatever enemies I see from here on out, I will fight, I will cut out the battles, but also, I will do some farming in the end slate, because... 
I want to do some farming during the end slate to get Pooh up to respectable levels. Thank you so much for watching. Next time we'll be heading to uh, b -b 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 Scraba to chase down uh, chase down Pokey who retreated there and also investigate this mysterious pyramid that the evil forces do not want us to go to. Thank you so much for watching and I release new episodes of Earthbound Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. If you like this episode, then make a comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I will see you guys in the next episode of Pal Plays Earthbound and like I said, during the end slate I will do some farming to get Poo up to probably level like 36 or whatever. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.